Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Sally Foote, and we're just going to show you this afternoon here uh, examining a pet who's never been to the vet before and getting any kind of positive reinforcement, uh, how we go about doing this. So here we have Missy, and she's a young adult female dog, and uh, hi Missy. First thing to do is to actually greet her in the room, come down close, so she can see if she's willing to greet you, and she is willing to come up and greet me. So I have a couple of these more high-ranking treats, and they've been broken down into about the size of a Cheerio. Hi, baby. Hi, Missy. And we'll try offering her. Oh, now she thinks about taking it. She doesn't really want to eat it much, but that's okay. That This is still Missy. rewarding her to Missy. offer it to her. Hi, Missy. And uh, that. So we give her a little time to get acclimated in the room. And we're going to try a couple others here, too. Okay. Rachel's offering her some peanut butter. Again, usually a high-ranking treat. And Mercy <laughs> thinks she's going to get a reward here, too. But she doesn't really want it, so we're not going to push it on her because it actually might cause her some stress to try to force her to take a treat. Not all pets are really motivated by food that highly. Again, she sniffed at the uh, liver paste, but not really something that she wants. But she does seem to like attention. She seems to uh, like like being petted and keeps reapproaching to Rachel. So this may be a dog that's going to like uh, physical praise. So let's get. Put your finger off with Rachel, and we'll put her on the table and start with the exam. So, Missy, as we place Missy on the table here, we're going to praise her and give her a few minutes to get used to being on the table before we start a lot of uh, procedures with her. So, as Rachel's doing, she's petting her, and uh, this helps Missy to relax. How can we tell that Missy is relaxed? Her ears are kind of down and slightly forward. She's willing to look right at me. Uh, her body tension is very calm. It's not tense. And I know it's hard to see her tail because she's backed up to Rachel. <laughs> but uh, it's not really, uh, you know, uh, down or anything and she's not pulling away from us. So we say, hi Missy, what do you think, huh? Oh, good girl. So she starts to brighten up and look around, and that's telling me, hmm, not interested in what I got on the table, but she seems to brighten up to happy talk. So this is when what we're saying, jolly talk, is a reward. So we'll try this with Missy as we do the exam. Yeah. Good girl. Yes, you see what? Yes, you what? Hi, Missy. Yes, you're a good baby. Yeah, I'm going to listen to you. Oh, it's a good yes. girl. Good girl. Yeah, so you're being a brave girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Is he yes. She's got to listen to Good girl. Maybe listen to the tummy. Yes. Oh, Very good. Yes. That's a good baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm palpate the abdomen and she's good being girl. talked to by Rachel oh. and, mm -hmm. you know, being rubbed, which yes. she seems to like. She's not showing any indication of tensing up, of uh, burying her lips yes. or aggression. Oh. So we really don't oh. need to hold her tightly now or need to put a muzzle on her and that actually may tell her there's something bad coming up. So we work with the individual pet that we have, good baby, and uh, that. Now to help her out a little bit more, this is her first exam here, we can also try spraying a little of the DAP spray and around the table and actually I sometimes miss just a little bit and rub it on them and see if that may help to Relax them. I think it is. So you just proceed with the exam. Good pretest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, me too. Good pretest. And she's not objecting to the table. She's not more nervous or, nervous or tense. So I would say that the table is something that she accepts, and the table is a good place to do her examination. <gasps> we should go baby. Oh, I know. What a good girl. A good girl. And then when we do things like yeah. that, yeah, sometimes even show up a product. Uh, that praising like that helps her to, again, associate something nice with having her temperature taken. Okay. So. It does a nice way to get your temperature taken. Yeah. And taking a little time in between each thing we do, like checking the temperature, or listening to the lungs, giving her a little bit of a break, helps her to uh, get used to what we're doing and will help to decrease the likelihood that she's going to ramp up or get more and more uh, escalated in any kind of fear. Let me hold you. 
Okay. Get her vaccination. She's getting her just done for Parvo booster today. Now all of our vaccines, we use a 25 gauge needle because it's less painful for the animal and again, this helps them to associate something a little bit better with their vaccinations and uh, then I'll go ahead and give her her vaccination now. So I'm going to come around here mm -hmm. and depending on the patient, she's actually feeling a lot better up here in Rachel's arms. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're going to use her arms. And as I give the injection, you'll watch how Rachel and I are timing together us giving girl. the injection Such as Rachel is using this physical girl. praise of rubbing Such and verbal praise of rewarding. Yes, okay, oh, baby. Oh, she does such a good girl. girl. Oh, 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 is there a kitty coming? There, yeah, I know she's oh, a little yes. girl. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, there's there you a go. Good girl. Yes, you are. So, yes, you are. That went such very nicely girl. for her. Yes, you are. Uh, Missy was not upset. Good she didn't girl. struggle. She didn't try yeah. to withdraw. Good girl. And that's good. So now we're going to get her blood drawn for her heartworm test. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good girl. Hi, baby. I think you're doing pretty well up here. Yes. So if we're doing our heartworm tests, uh, you can have your assistant hold off a vein. Oftentimes I will put a tourniquet on, usually just a rubber band and a pair of hemostats. Or for a larger dog, you can also get the rubber cording uh, tourniquet. But this helps your technician to have their hands more available for the restraint or any other kind of rewarding, etc they need to do and sometimes it may be a little less a little more comfortable for the animal using a tourniquet so for Missy here honey oh and she seems to like the jolly top we're gonna set your little tourniquet on and you use praise as you do every step of this as I'm putting on the tourniquet we're gonna talk nice yes we are it's a good girl very good oh, yes and then hold the leg it generally helps a lot of these dogs to avoid holding a lot on the paw Oh. And then I know baby cakes. Oh, we know. I'm going to touch you. Just tushy down. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to sit you on the oh, table. Oh, yeah. and when she's relaxed, good girl. we're going to go into the vein with a good, good baby. Yes, and she gets are. lots and lots of praise as we draw her blood. Yes, you are. There such a great girl. All we need to do is her yes, heart will chest. Yes, you are. Such a great girl. And we take that off. And yes. she gets lots good of praise. Girl. Good girl. Yes. yes you are. Very good. Yay. Good girl. And as a note, yeah. I yes, use the are. tuberculin syringes Good with a 25 gauge needle for our heartworm yeah. test draws yes, uh, because yeah. that works fine and again, it's less painful yeah. for the animal, we're not going to collapse the vein, and it helps things to go more uh, less stressfully for the pet. Yeah. Thank you.